hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are almost ready to start this new class. Welcome. No, no, no. Marca el carro. Marca el carro. Microphone, please. Okay, welcome.
I guess he's going to be bidding this way. Okay, I got nine. Welcome back. How do you feel today? Tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Um, looking to the web, uh, we're working until the unit one, right? Because we have exercise from unit two, but I don't know if we have to make it today before uh, 11 p.m. or we are just going to work at unit one? Well, um, according to my lesson plans, mm -hmm. let me tell you, let me check up here. Yeah, today we are going, today we are going to study phase number, it's going to be phase number 19. If you see it. So oh, we're on unit two. We yeah. have to complete the exercise from the web. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, this class is going to be based on phase number 19. The situation here uh, in this topic is that we need to have extra information in order to understand some some concept related with some uh, element that we need to study to understand the topic. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Adriana, are you there? Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian. Escobar. Present. Welcome, sir. Selena. Present today, I'm going to be just as a listener too. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Diana Stephanie. Present. Welcome. Eric. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Francis. 
present teacher. Ah, okay. I, I, yesterday I, I was calling you because was your turn at the end of the class, but you didn't answer. Jose Jonathan. Present. Welcome, sir. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Welcome. María Concepción. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. María Elena. María Elena. María Elena, hello. Not here. Mario Ernesto. Presentation. Welcome. Mayra Veralice. Now here. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay, he's here. Santos Misael. Here. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Welcome. Jenny Suleima. Jenny. Now here. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Today I need uh, you be active because uh, we are going to see some concept related with the uh, with the term that we have in the material. So please, I invite you to have your dictionary dictionary uh, next to your desk because maybe you are going to use it. So let us start now. I remember that I told you to answer uh, a question and I said uh, that uh, was your homework. I hope that all of you got the answer. But before we start talking about that, let us do something else. No, get bigger. Okay, this is video conference number nine, analyze CPL service vocabulary. That is what we are going to do today. I'm here, teacher Anna Lilian. Anna Lilian is coming, okay. Today we are going to learn what is the meaning of this uh, CPL. What is the meaning of that? Okay, you are going to learn it today. If you already know, it is going to be better for us. And we are going to start with this tongue twister to improve pronunciation in English. Okay, take a look at the tongue twister. I'm going to read it. And I'm, uh, I will try not to make mistakes. 
Okay, it said Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter is bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So it was better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. Okay, who want to say it? Hello, I'm waiting. Me teacher. Okay. Very butter box on butter, but she said the butter bitter. If I put in my butter, it will make my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my better better butter better. So was better very butter box a bit of better butter. Okay, how do you say this word? Como teacher? How do you pronounce this one? Twice. Twas. 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 Like with T, twas. Twas. Twas better, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read again. Betty butter, but some butter butter but she said the butter is bitter if i put it in my butter it will make my butter better but a bit of better butter will make my butter better so it was better very butter but a bit of better butter okay somebody else me teacher Wendy. Okay, I do try. It. <laughs> do it, Wendy. Do it, Wendy. Very butter was some butter, but she say the butter butter's bitter. If it put in in my butter, it if, will if, make I'm, my. I'm butter. sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. If, if, if I. If I. If I. Put it, Continue. put it in my butter. It will make my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So, twas, twas better, very butter, both a bit of better butter. Okay. Somebody, somebody else. Me teacher, Saira. Okay, Saira. Very butter box some butter, but she say the butter bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But I be bit of better, butter will make my butter better. So to us better be very butter. But a bit of better butter. Okay, thank you. Continue practicing. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay. I try. Okay, mm. go ahead. Very butter, but some butter, but she say the butter bitter. If, if I put in my butter, I, I will make my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my butter bitter so twice better bitter butter but a bit of bitter butter porque me, porque me dijo, why you say bitter right here and right here is better. better better and also right here you say, you say butter usted, usted escuchó mal. And, right here you say butter and right here you say butter Bur. Ah, okay. Be careful. Be careful. And practice. Practice. Yes. Okay. Somebody yes. else. Somebody else. I don't want that you fall asleep, you know. So please. Somebody else. Me, teacher. Okay. 
Betty butter bought some butter, but she said that butter's, butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make me butter better. So what's better, Betty? Butter bowl, a bit of better butter. Mm -hmm. could, could you read it again, please? Betty butter bowl some butter. Go ahead. But she said that butter bitter. If I put in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make butter better. So what's better, Betty? Butter, both a bit of better butter. Better, now, okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. That's it. I don't believe it. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Betty butter, but some butter. But they say, but she say the butter's bitter. If I put in my butter, I will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my better butter better so twice better very butter but a bit of better butter okay she said she said the better the better speeder okay that's it somebody else me teacher laura <laughs> okay Betty butter bow, yes. <laughs> Betty butter bow some butter, but but say but she say the butter's bitter. If if it put it it in my butter, it no, no, no. Okay, hold on. my repeat. butter bitter. Okay, hold on. Repeat here. If I put it it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. Back a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So twice better Betty butter, bow a bit of better butter. Okay, the last one because we need to start with something else. Repeat, teacher. No, somebody else. Or I don't know if you want to read it again. Does it? I don't understand, teacher. I understand the question. I I not understand. <laughs> if 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 you are saying it is. Ah, okay. If you are saying I don't, I don't understand. I don't I don't understand, teacher. I, I don't understand. Okay. I don't, okay. What 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 you don't understand? Uh, I I like repeat. Ah, you Francis. want to okay. okay. Do you want to repeat? Ah, okay. Uh, the, the initial teacher. <laughs> yeah, from the beginning. Ah, okay. Very bother bow some bother, but she say the bother's bitter. If I put it in my bother, it will make my bother bitter. But a bit of better bother will make my bother better. So twas, so twas better, very bother bow a bit of better bother. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's a homework for 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 uh not for tomorrow because tomorrow is 
we are not going to work for the next class on Monday. Uh, I consider that you are going to read it in a fast way, but try to pronounce in the right way every word. And that way you are going to learn how to pronounce it. Okay, what about, do you remember uh, the question that I told you? I don't know if you answer it. Let me look the material in order to be sure. Ah, and I said, why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer? Two, three of the seven are and discuss. What do you think about this? I, I, I'm still, still remember that I told you, but if you want, we can do it at the end of the, because we are going to, to see uh, page number 19. And, and I got some information related with the, with these terms that I need that you get familiar with. Let me see, okay, um, we are not going to talk about that because we were talking about uh, logistic. And logistic involves CDPL. What do you think uh, this, um, we can say acronym means, CDPL? What comes to your mind as soon as you see it? Any idea? The third party logistics. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, a third party logistic provider. It's a firm that provides uh, a one-stop shop service to its customer of outsourced logistic service for part for all of their supply chain management services. I need that you understand this because we are going to talk about this. Okay, try to read it. That is the meaning of CPL, a third party logistic provider. That provides service to its customers. Do you have it? Yes? No? At the end, I'm going to share the, the, the presentation in order that you can have it too. Okay, who, who wants to help me read it? Three PL is special, special and in integrated operation, warehousing and transportation service that being scaled and customized to a customer needs based on the market condition and the demands and delivery service requirements for their products and materials. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. 3PLs typically specialize in integrated operation, warehousing, and transportation services that be scaled 
and customized to the customer's needs based on market conditions and the demands and the delivery service requirements for their products and materials. And material, okay. Uh, a main idea related with this paragraph? Main idea related with this? I understand that uh, 3PLs is a help for the companies because they are outsourcing and they are special, specializing in some activities that is not the main purpose of the, of the company that supply the need. Okay, thank you. What is the meaning of the of the word integrated? Somebody tell me in English. Integrated operation. What do you understand? Just the word integrate, what is the meaning? Give me synonym in English. Only a few, no more, no, 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 not a, a big amount. So no, no, yes, three, two, four, related with the word integrated. Okay, what do you understand when we talk about integrated operation? Tell me, what is that? Maybe can be a combined different operations and we have a, a bigger, um, a bigger one. Okay, or different element in an operation. Yeah, because a integrated operation. It has to do with warehousing, transportation, and handling, packaging, you know. That is called integrated operation. Okay. Somebody help me to replace. Me, teacher, Wendy. Okay, Wendy. The... Three PL pro provider come in at the request of the customer and essentially takes over complete control of the company. 
logistic activities known as asset based logic logistic providers don't own any physical print distribution asset of, of their own no trucks no storage trailers no budgets and no warehousing housing. consist warehousing yes warehousing or a team of domain experts with accumulate freight industry expert time expert time and information technology assets Okay, I, I need that um, all of you understand this concept. Um, expertise, expertise. Expertise. And you see at the beginning right here says the CPL provider comes in at the request of the customer and essential is essentially takes over complete control of the company's logistic activities. You need to take into account these first lines in order that you can understand it. As I told you, I'm going to share the information and you are going to have more ideas and vocabulary related with this. And now uh, let us talk about the next one. Who wants to read it? I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm sharing with you this concept in order that you can understand uh, the information that we had in the material because it is related. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read it. Let me see how many people do I have. I got 19. Okay, I'm missing waiting. I try teacher. Okay, that I like that. I like that. What is procurement logistic? At its core, procurement logistic is the sourcing of materials needed to manufacture products. In other words, it's part of the the supply change focus or for purchasing <laughs> raw materials, replacement parts, auxiliary supplies, operating supplies, and other item, items needed for the manufacturing process to work. Okay, what is procurement logistics? It is a core procurement logistic. It's the sourcing of material needed to manufacture products as the E. There you got the concept. You know, in other words, this part of the supply chain focuses on purchasing raw material. You already know what is raw material, right? 
replacement parts. Auxiliary supplies, operating supplies, and other items needed for the manufacturing process to work. I guess it's, it's really clear, but I don't know if you understand it. Let me ask somebody that explain me. Let me see. I'm looking, I'm looking for somebody. Okay, uh, let me see, Juan Carlos Rivas, could you tell us what do you understand about this concept? Hello? Hello? Is not there. Okay, let me look somebody else. What about you, Mayra? What can you tell me about this concept? Ana Beatriz. It's very important. How uh, is uh, the of different empresas. Okay. You have it there in the concept. This part of the supply chain, in fact, is on purchasing raw material, replacing part, auxiliary supplies, operating supplies, and other items needed for the manufacturing process of work. Okay, try to keep it in mind. Okay, when you see this picture, what can you tell me about it? It's a general question. If you want to give your point of view, yes. Let's start talking. Hello? Remember, speaking is really important in communication. Is, is the same, uh, the, the plane, uh, the distribution, the product? Oh, okay. Thank you. Somebody else? And distribution teacher, are there different supply routes? Does the use the deliver, deliver the product from the manufacturers to the customer? Ah, okay. And technically, how, how we call it? Yes. Distribution and something is missing.
Shania. Distribution channel, okay. Thank you. We already talked about this, and what we are doing is just uh, remembering. Okay, what does distribution mean in logistics? Mayra, will you read it, please? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Distribution in logistics ref refers to the overall management that over the moment of good from their development to the point of sale. This can include anything from transportation, packaging, inventory, stock control, site and area examination to information handling. Distribution in logistics incorporates numerous process. The focus is ultimate on a key efficiency, distribution, and a smooth moment of finished products to customers. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to read it? What does distribution mean in logistics? Distribution and logistics refer to the overall management, the overseas, the movement of goods from their development to the point on sale. This can include anything from transportation, packaging, inventory, stop control, site and area examination to information handling. Distribution in logistics incorporate numerous processes that focus is ultimately and achieving efficient distribution is smooth movement and finished products to customers. Okay, who wants to read it? Me teacher, Saira. Okay, okay. Distribution in logistic refer to the overall management. Management, management. That overs overs the movement of goods from their development to the point of sale. This can include anything from transportation, packaging, inventory, stock control, site and area examination to information handling. Distribution in logistics incorporates numerous processes. The focus is ultimately on achieve, achieving, achieving efficient distribution and a smooth movement of finished product to customer. Ultimately, ultimately. Ultimately. In an easy way, okay. you can say ultimately, ultimate, you. ultimately, yeah. Ultimately. Oh, ultimately. oh. This, this U is like an A, an oh. open A, ultimately. Ultimately, you know? okay. okay. Okay, but the most important here, uh, yes, score it is, pronunciation, but you need to understand also the concept because uh, in that way it's, it is going to be uh, easy for you to, to put in practice all this concept. How to do with transportation, packaging, inventory, stock control, size and areas, examination. And uh, well, different aspects that we need to take into account at the moment that we are going to send a, a product. Any questions so far from here? Hello? Teacher, pronuncia numero. What is this? Number? 
Eh, ahí dice número, pronúncialo. Ah, this one. Numbers, yes. numbers process. Numbers process. Gracias. Okay, somebody else wants to read it? Me teacher. What does distribution mean in logistics? Distribution in logistics refers to the overall manager, management that oversees the movement of goods from there. Development to the point of sales. This can include anything from transportation, packaging, inventory, stock control, site and area, examination to information handling. Distribution in logistics incorporates mm, numerous, numer process, mm, numerous process. Numerous process. The process. focus in Okay, right the here it is included. Processes. Okay. The focus is ultimate on achieving efficient distribution and a smooth movement. Ultimate. I know what I'm saying. Ultimate telling. I ultimately. Ultimately, on achieving efficient distribution and a smooth movement of finished product customers. Okay, thank you. Numerous. Okay, okay, what about this picture? What can you tell me? Somebody. Take a look at the picture. What can you see in the picture? Tell me. The supply chain. Ah, okay, okay. But um, how can I ask you this? Uh, the shape, the shape. What is this? Logistics. No, I'm talking about the drawing, the drawing. Transportation. No, 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 no. I don't know if you got my idea. I'm the way it looks like what? Like a bus. Like a bus. Okay. Okay. And I want that you remember it like, like a bus. And, and then it's going to be easier for you to understand it. Okay. Somebody wants to tell me to comment something related with this. Okay, tell me, we have different point. Which one do you consider that is the most important point that we have here? The consumer. Ah, consumer. Okay, why? Tell me, tell me why. Because uh depend depends on preference of the consumer the strategy of our distribution channel will be changed for example um if 
a lot of customers prefer a uh, online sale. The the producer have to have to create a a, a good system to take all all orders. Okay. Thank you. And what else you can tell me about this uh, about these lines? What can you tell me about it? Hello. In what? my opinion, sure. okay, okay, continue. It's two forms for distribution. Ah, two, two, two way, two way to distribute the, the, the product, okay? For distributing the product, one directly producer consumer consumer. Okay. Another one, um, take more, no sé cómo se dice, labones. Ah, ok. No sé cómo se dice, labones. Ok, but uh, I need that you end the, your, your idea. Continue, please. Only. Only that? Only, Only that. Okay, somebody else want to explain me something else? What, what about the wheels? Are they important or not? Imagine this is a bus. If you need to go forward, you need to, to use the wheels. You know, what can you tell me about this? What happened when I, when I want to do a, a direct sale? We already talked about this. Hello. I'm going to, to stop sharing. Okay, we, we already talked about this term. What do you remember about? Okay, I'm going to let think about, um, and I need to check out the attendance again. I'm giving you the opportunity to participate and to share your ideas. Okay, hold on my computer.
Okay, uh, Adriana. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Selina. Diana Stephanie. Present teacher. Eric Orlando. Present. Okay. Uh, Francis. Present, present teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Is there Jose Jonathan? Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura. Present teacher. María. Present. María Elena. Present. Ok, Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ok, Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. It's not here. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lisset Asensio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm Selena. I'm here. Excuse me, Selena? Yes. Sorry, it wasn't present. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let us continue talking about this term. Remember, uh, you have you have it in your material on page number 19. But before we resolve the exercise that we had there, we need to have some ideas. We were talking about this picture. As soon as you see it, we are talking about distribution channel and we can do it in different way, like direct sale, producer to consumer, and we can do it in, in, in another way, like um, using agent, wholesale and, and retailer too. We already talked about this. For that reason, I consider that you are able to explain it when I'm showing you. But let, let us continue. Okay, who wants to read this? Hola. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, maintenance service logistics. Maintenance service logistics encompasses all the processes that ensure that the resources required for maintenance are at the right place at the right time. In a broader sense, it also includes maintenance, planning, and design for maintenance. Okay. We got a period here and said in a broader sense. What is that? En otro sentido, o en el mismo sentido. Could be in that way, but somebody have another minute. Tell me. In a broader sense, what is that? Like large brothers. I don't know if you see my gesture. Yeah, is what you are saying. Okay, and this, this is the, the key word right here. I guess uh, 
if you understand these two words, you are going to get what is the meaning of that. Planning and design for, I guess it is clear, but I don't know. How do you feel? Okay. What about this one? I need to I need to show you some uh, consonant, and then you are going to start working in the material in order to resolve the the exercises that we have there. Okay, Francis, could you read this, please? Are you there? No, he's not there. What about Jonathan? Jonathan? Hello, Jonathan. Escobar, what about you? No? I don't write British. Okay, thank you. What is inventory management? Inventory management helps companies identify which and how much stock to order at time. Okay, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Could you repeat again until the periods? Inventory Could... management. Okay, okay, go ahead. Inventory management helps company identify which and how much stock to order at what time. Oh, okay. Track... Continue. It... Inventory from purchase to the sales of goods. The practice identifies and responds to trends to ensure there's a always enough stock to fulfill customer orders and proper warning of a shortest, shortage. 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 Okay, in your own words, this is a general question. What, how? How can you explain it? What is inventory management? Um, maybe because the companies need to um, identify um, someone aspect, uh, for him, for example, uh, a stock order um, and others that um, maybe other employees don't, don't can identify um, for this is important management. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Juan Carlos? Your idea related with inventory management? No, teacher. Okay. What about Suleyma? Um is is about the right rotation of the goods in the perfect stock mm, okay Wendy Wendy Sorry, teacher. <laughs> My mother is speaking. <laughs> oh, okay. 
And the idea, the idea was this inventory management. Yeah, 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 your own idea. Ah, invent, inventory is um, a stock of, of products or the quality, quantity of products uh, in, in a company. And um, the stock, for example, uh, for example, yesterday uh, fell in the stock uh, 10 products, for example, or 100 products and fell, uh, fell one, two, or whatever, stock. Um, baja, ¿cómo se diría? No, slow, down, o disminuye, no sé cómo decirlo. Get down, get down. Down, down the quantity of products. Imagine that, um, you are going to imagine that you sell, uh, let me see what you are going to buy, uh, ticket to travel to different countries. We are just to imagine. That's not real, okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. And suddenly, uh, travel, a ride, travel ticket is, yeah, a is ride, not stuck. <laughs> okay, and suddenly uh, a family visits you and they ask you for seven tickets to travel to Dubai. And you, and you say, okay, I'm going to sell it, and the amount is this. But at the moment that you are going to check it in your computer, you realize that you have only just two. What happened there? Just imagine, okay? Yes, so yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are using our imagination. <laughs> imagine. Okay, uh, it's important, important inventory manager. Uh, because, you know, why? Mm, mm, it's difficult for me because I, I don't talk in my, in my company. Ah, okay. It is important <laughs> because if I get my inventory up to date, that means that I know exactly if I have enough product to fulfill customers in the right no. way. Okay? Okay. I know that you got your ideas, but you don't want to share with us. That is the problem. And I got it here. I need that somebody read it. I don't know if you want to do it. Why is inventory management important? Inventory management is vital to a company's health because it helps make sure there is readily too much or too little stock on hand, limiting the rates of stockouts and inaccurate record. Okay, you, you need to put in the list of your vocabulary. If you don't know the meaning of this word, you are going to put it there. How many new words do you have in your in your in your list, Jenny? At, until now. Let us see. If you are keeping a record on those new words. Words. Yeah, new one for you. Yes. How many um, do you have until now? Um, wheels, teams, a known, fulfilled. Okay, you have, okay, okay. Okay, that show me that you are writing down and creating your own vocabulary. And well, that way and that way you are going to learn. 
how to use this word. Okay, thank you. Okay, I guess it is time that we start working in exercises in our material. Um, uh, of course, I got I have more information, but what I want is that you put in practice what we've been talking about. So please let me show you the material and you are going to start working in this page because everything is related. Okay, we've been talking about, uh, let me see if I missed something here to show you. Hold on a second, let's just take a look first. Um, well, we need to talk about supply chains too. That, well, Well, I guess we need to talk a little bit about this before we go to the to the exercise. Let me share it, and we are going to talk it to talk about that a little bit, and then we are going to start solving the exercise. Do you have there? Okay, what are supply chain logistics? Who wants to read it? This is the last term that we are going to study. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. What are supply chain logistics? Supply chain logistics coordinate the storage and shipping of goods and services across across the supply chain. The practice behind with raw materials continue on the manufacturing and or distribution. And 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 when a business delivers financial goods to the customer or when products are returned to their final destination. Okay, thank you. What are supply chain logistics? Supply chain logistics coordinate the storage and shipping of goods and services across the supply chain. The practice begins with the raw materials, continues on to manufacturing and or distribution and ends when a business delivers finished goods to the customer or when products are returned to their final destination. That is supply chain logistic. Okay, oh, now I can do it. I'm going to share with you this exercise that you are going to work on it. It is on page 19, building vocabulary. You are going to match this term related to logistic to their meaning. We already talked about supply and distribution and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, take your time in order to resolve this exercise. If you don't have it, just make a screenshot. We have seven, uh, seven different uh, concept. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do it. I'm going to set my time here. Okay. Do you mind if I stop sharing? Hello? Okay, uh, I need that you make a screenshot. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you. I need to, I, I, I need that you are working on it. Don't forget cameras, please. Okay, you have 10 minutes to do it.
Am I not left? Okay, I'm going to let you work with somebody else. <laughs> then you are going to compare and, and help each other in order to finish. Ten minutes to compare it with somebody else, okay? Here we go. Francis, Maria, Carlos Antonio, Jonathan, Maria Elena. I am in uh, the same room because in one is room three, another is. I'm going to move to room one. No. It's going to be. It's going to be better on one three, I guess. Okay, you got it there.
Okay. Don't forget that it is really, really important that we follow instruction. In your job, if somebody give you a uh, instruction, you need to follow. Okay, uh, let me start with teacher. And uh, number one is for uh, is a um, uh, distribution, a process of supply goods to store and other business that sell to consumers. Okay, that's right. Thank you. What about the next one? The second teacher, I'm not sure, but I think is to, to uh, supply the network create among different companies producing and distribution products. Supply? Supply. Supply chain. Supply chain. Okay, it's number seven, okay, that's okay. right. Okay, next one, please. Number three is inventory management. The ongoing process of molding parts and products into and out of a company's location. Okay, excellent, thank you. Next one. The coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies is logistics. Logistics, thank you. Next one. Next. Hurry up, please. Teacher, the process of keeping something a good condition, uh, number, number five. Okay. Thank you. Next. Next. Procurements. Next. Okay, teacher. Procurements. The act of, of obtaining or buying goods and service. And the last one. The last one, please. Inventory management, the amount of a good or service offered for sale. Okay, take a look if you have it this way. Okay, make a screenshot now, please. Take a picture, take a picture. It is done? No, sale nada, teacher. Can you see it? Si, sí, sale. Yes, no sale yes, nada, teacher. Solo dice inglés corporativo, empezado la función de compartir las pantallas y jamás salió la pantalla. My goodness. But what about the rest? Can you see? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, problem of the connection, maybe. Me, please. Okay, make an screenshot if you want and share it in the group. Thank you. Okay, um, the next step that we are going to do is this. You are going to get together in groups. We are going to work about exercise number eight. 
Number seven, let me see. Okay, um, you are going to work in exercise seven and eight at the same time. You are going to read the definition below. But let me share it. Maybe you don't have the material. Okay, number seven said, read the definition below, then complete the step or the process using word from the box. Inbound logistics concerns the relationship between companies and their suppliers, while outbound logistics deal with how companies get product to their customer. And you have customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning, and purchasing. And right here, you have supplier and customer here. Uh, what you need to do is just to write down what happened here, what happened here, and here. And then you are going to share it and explain how the step in the chart communicate each other to complete the process. That means that one of you are going to make a presentation. Okay, it is clear what you are going to do. Hello. Me comprende que vamos a hacer? Let me check on my microphone. Maybe it's not working in the proper way. Yeah, it's there. Hello. Teacher, my computer is shut down and I don't see <laughs> in the cell phone. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, let us see if you are going to work in... Oh, we have less people now. Okay, I'm going to recreate it. Okay, let us go out now. But I want I want to be sure that you understand what I'm saying. Okay, discuss with your group now, please. And one of you is going to make a presentation. Hurry up, hurry up, please.
teacher no pude darle, no pude entrar en el grupo, me puede mandar otra vez, estoy en el 2. Can move it. Laura, 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 what's happened, Laura? Now Eric is alone too. Teacher, antes de que me mande. ¿Te puedo hacer una pregunta? Yes. Es que fíjese que eh, según lo que vimos en la plataforma, en Warehouse and Purchasing, estaban en el cuadro 1. En Product Planning en el 2, eh, Customer Service and Transport en el 3. Pero lo que estamos dialogando con las niñas ahí es que no sabemos qué es lo que exactamente quiere usted. Well, according to the interaction that we have in the material. You are going to complete that step of the processes using word from the box. In another word, what you are, you are going to start with inbound logistic, and you are going to end with outbound logistic. How to do what uh, with what you mentioned? And based on that, you are going to explain the step and how they communicate. Okay, teacher, ahora envíame el grupo 2 porque han visto allá. My goodness, it's going to be difficult to, to do it. The group number two. I'm going to move it to the three one and then you are going to accept the invitation, right? La voy a mover al tres para luego de ahí agarrarla y pasarla al dos. Okay, teacher. Movió el 3. Okay, I'm really sorry. Time here online is too short. Okay, let us see who wants to share. Teacher, que compartamos la presentation. Oh, yeah, la tarea. Have. If you have it, you can share it. Dice que no se puede compartir. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, now you can do it.
Okay, interesting. Teacher, buscamos esto rapidito. Listo. Okay. Okay, Mario. Uh, okay. Display. Inbound logistics. Manufacturer requires contact on supplier, selecting best deal or daring. Supplier receiving orders, inventory check, manufacturing, order management, and ready for the supply. Logistic service provider um, take the goods components, transportation, handover, handover. I don't see. Handover the goods. Manufacturer receive the order, check the order, initiate payment, order complete. Outbound logistics. Manufacturer warehouse, warehouse production, storage, supply. Uh, next, distribution center, gathering, gross docking, sorting, shipping. Retailer warehouse, precise the product, store the product for, for the sale, creo que fue en el can. The sale, uh -huh. and finish customer and user buy the product. Finish teacher. Customer, customer. Co customer, <laughs> okay. A customer. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Hello, uh, Maria Ellen. Show me again, please. What do, what do you need? Um, the exercise. The one that is in the book. You are talking about this one? Uh, yes, yes. You got it there. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Me yes. Okay, okay, Diana, thank you. Uh, can you see my screen? Okay. Yeah, we understand uh, a little different uh, the activity and we put the words uh, here operating in this Square. Uh, in our room, we think about the production planning is first, then transport and warehouse, and then customer service, and at the end, purchasing. Mm, okay. But I don't, I don't know if this was the, the activity. Yes. Yes, it is. What I'm saying is just uh, because uh, right here, we need to follow the, the steps. Teacher in the one is warehouse and processing. Um, yeah, right so here in, in, in the fair one. Uh, if, there, warehouse uh, if you put it uh, purchasing warehouse, Because we need to follow uh, in warehouse um, purchasing and uh, those uh, product planning. In three is customer service and uh, in transport. In the last one, right? 
and the last one is yeah right here in the middle plan. the middle is going to be very if you put the uh, production plan increase customer service and transport okay Okay, thank you. I know that uh, it's a lot of information, but um, well, we need to we need to read it. I know we are so close to finish. In order to switch la. Uh, and that you relax a little bit. I'm going to give you some. Yeah, I'm going to give you some some uh, clues and you are going to tell me what, I, what I'm talking about. You are going to guess. For example, if I say, I am white, but I was black. I like amusement park. People say that I am crazy. I live in the US. I was a famous singer. What can you tell me? Who am I? I don't know. Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes, God, it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite easy, right? Yeah. Really, really easy. Okay, the last one. I am never alone in, in books. Listen. I'm the second or the fifth. You cannot find me in third toes. I'm in the middle of Barcelona. I like elephant, pencil, and rubber. And hey, lions, Brian, and Caesar. I'm a leader. Which one it is? No ideas? No ideas. Listen, I'm in the middle of Barcelona. I like elephant, pencil, and rubbers. And hey, lions, crying, and scissor. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I'm in the middle of letter, letter E teacher. <laughs> okay. Bingo. Woo. Was quite easy, you know, but you 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 were thinking about Barcelona, you said maybe it's a city or something like that. Okay, let me check out the attendance. I'm sorry to to take some minutes. Okay, uh, Adriana. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Selina. Present. 
Jodiana. Present. Eric. Francis. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marlene. Santos Misael. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia. Yesenia is there. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. No, no, not tomorrow. Next Monday, okay? Tomorrow <laughs> it's gonna be your, your, your vacation, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Happy weekend. You too. Bless you. Bye. Okay. Ah, Jonathan, Jonathan, are you still there, Jonathan? I need to talk with you, Jonathan. Bye, teacher. Bye. It's not there. Okay, bye bye.